Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your angel tarot and oracle card reading daily energy for January the 4th, 2020. This is a collective reading. Take what you can from it. Throw the rest out into the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite and welcome you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video. Again, I truly start my day off with thanking you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to these videos. If you're new to me, as I tell you every, every day, please be sure to click the like and the bell button, make it ring, and then you'll get notified immediately when any of my cards are out here on YouTube for you to view. Now, let's see what we have here for January the 4th. Your, your major card you have been given is the Change Your Life, and this is the Tower card, okay? And it says here, a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change things and that change brings so something happened uh very suddenly that uh set you back uh to think about where it is you're going to go on your path and you know in the traditional tarot as i tell you it shows the tower people falling out of a burning building head first and it looks very ominous and and scary well it's not i love the tower card because it is all about learning from the past and changing your life and building a stronger better foundation it's all about uh, structure and you focusing on more stability from the past, what you've learned from the past. And you know, whatever that situation was, if it was the breakup of a relationship, the loss of a job, uh, you know, as two examples, it, it could have been anything in your life that set you back on your, uh, you know, stopped you in your tracks suddenly. For some of you, you may have enabled it and saw, you know, after it happened and thought to yourself, yes, I saw this happening. Why did I enable it? I shouldn't have. Uh, or it could have come in very suddenly suddenly unto you know and blindsided you uh, you were unaware of it but it's a good thing and you know we get over that we heal through that moment and we learn from it and when we do we change things in our life for the better in other words this isn't going to happen to me again I'm not going to enable and allow this so I'm going to move on take those with me of like minds those people who support me and love me for who I am who are there through my good and my bad times and you move on, you move on in a new direction. I love the tower, rebuilding, restructuring, stronger foundation, better for it. What do you need to uh, understand from the beautiful, beautiful Oracle card here? Uh, you got vacation and it's time for you for relaxation and an adventure. So it is January. Often people wait until after the, the busy season to pack their suitcase and they plan a beautiful trip away. Maybe you're going to visit family uh, and the flights are cheaper and less crowded airports. Um, that's the worst part of traveling anywhere, isn't it? Um, or maybe you're going on a beautiful tropical vacation somewhere to sit in the sun and the warmth and enjoy that. Uh, because it is winter and some of us need to, <clears throat> we need to replenish ourselves emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And sometimes the beach is a place where people go. I am a water sign, as you know, and water to me is like oxygen. I live on the lake. I'm always near the lake. If we, we travel, we make sure that we are near the ocean or water. Um, yes, I go up to volcanoes and mountains and visit them, but I don't do well in, in, uh, in high elevations. I get nosebleeds, so it's not good for me to go up there. And you know, it's funny how the universe and the divine says, uh-uh, that's not who you are. You're meant to be near the water and water is very healing. It's an amazing healing element and it's a beautiful place to go and meditate. When I go to the, when I go to the islands, the Caribbean, I sit on the beach and, uh, and I do, I meditate. I take my, my uh, ceremony healing list and I sit there and send all of that and project it out into the universe. So vacations are important. They're not just about playing and, and, you know, playing in the pool and, and doing things like that. It's about taking yourself where you feel at peace, where you get that full relaxation that you require. Vacations are about that. They're about restful times that, you know, maybe uh, for some of you, you like adventures because it mentions adventures. I personally like both and I try to incorporate the sea life 
and the adventure life, being able to see different cultures, being able to see the landscape, being able to learn about the culture and history of other people. So some of you look forward to it. I wish I was one of them. I'm not going away right now, but I wish you guys a great vacation. Coming in with a surrender card, what do you need to surrender? Well, apparently we need to surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons us. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in our lives. So we have, again, this talks about letting the past go. We talked about change your life. We talked about the tower moment that brought in those changes and leaving the past behind. Okay. So throw out any resentments into the universe. Let the wind carry it away and release it. It's going to free you. It's like forgiveness. Resentments, they only hold us back. They stop us in our track. We, we become over obsessed with thinking about them and we, we, we block ourselves from moving forward in a positive direction and for our joy and happiness. So our message today is to surrender. Surrender any past resentments we harbor in our hearts towards anyone or any situation that brought us grief. Beautiful. Now you've got the bold card from the goddess guidance. And that says, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Maybe you're going to be bungee jumping. Maybe you're going to be uh, rat rappelling down, down through the trees in the, the rainforest on your vacation. Maybe you're going to be going up like I did and seeing an active volcano or doing something that you feel isn't something you would do normally. This is about being bold, stepping up into your own power, being your own self and saying today I'm going to do something bold and daring that I normally wouldn't do. Okay. It can be something as simple as public speaking. A lot of people have the fear of standing up there in front of the masses. You may have to step up and speak your, speak your mind today and uh, step up on your platform and creatively express yourself by communicating. It could be something like that. But whatever it is, you're going to be bold and you're going to learn through this, grow through this and transform yourself through this. Beautiful. From the Letterman, wow, we know what this means. This means some of you may be conceiving, you may be giving birth, you could have identical twins for some of you, but I like to always look at this as giving birth to your dreams, bringing them into fruition, bringing them into reality, being able to, you know, make a wish, work towards it, lean into it and manifest it manifest your dreams into fruition bring them in uh this is a beautiful card maybe some of you have decided that you know you're going to take that adventure you're going to take that bucket list vacation that you never thought you would uh you know maybe you're going through spiritual transformation and some of you are going to go to peru or you're going to be going to india or you're going to be going to countries where you're or egypt where you want to tap into your spiritualism your history and take that as an adventure maybe some of you are going to start your own business and become your own entrepreneurs or maybe you've been planning that this is the year last year ended and maybe this is the year that you're stepping up and doing this you may be changing things uh, in your life that are, it's going to be profound and very, very enlightening for some of you. And it's going to transform you into this beautiful rebirth, becoming someone who you've always wanted to be, but to others, it may seem new and foreign to them. Doesn't matter. This is your life. You need to transform yourself into who you want to be. You and only you can make yourself happy. We can never expect other people to entertain that and make us happy. We need to do it on our own. And this is giving birth to your dreams. My beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. One of my favorite Lennerman cards. Let's see what we have here from our beautiful tea leaf deck. You got fire strong emotion and passionate love or hate now you know me i work with angel work i do spiritual work i do not like the word hate you will never hear me use that word in my vocabulary i don't like it i don't use it and it just is not useful i want to look at this as a passionate love if you're feeling resentments that you feel are leading to you you to the hate emotion please, please throw it out in the universe and let it go. And when you do send it out with forgiveness and love, 
That way you will feel better within your own soul, your own heart chakra level, okay? So strong emotions today, passionate love. Let go of the resentment and you will feel this passionate love coming into you. Absolutely. So let's feel the love. You're going to be happy. Some of you are going on a beautiful vacation. Some of you are changing your lives for the better so that you can give birth to your dreams today. And also you're being bold. It takes brave bravery to do things that are different. But do it. The divine and the and, and the universe are sending you these, these messages today to let you know this is the day that you need to make yourself change and do these beautiful things. What do we need to focus on today? Divine Spirit and my guides, please give us this one message. What all of us need to focus on today? January the 4th, 2020. One card, please. Well, there it is. Thank you very much. Let's see what they gave us. Forgiveness brings peace. I love how I always get the perfect cards from Spirit. So we talked about surrendering resentment. I just mentioned that you need to throw it out with forgiveness and love. That way you won't be harboring any ill feelings towards anybody or yourself that's going to block you on your path to move forward in a positive direction. So the perfect card today, and they always are. They refer to what's going on. That's why I like to shuffle it in front of you live so that you know I have not orchestrated this move, okay? I only take the cards that fly out of my deck, as you know. And if you have a live reading with me, you see that happen during a live. So the perfect message today that we need to focus on is forgiveness. Forgiveness brings us peace. We need to let go of any ill feelings that we're harboring towards a situation, a phase in our life, or a person in our, that was or is in our circle we need to remove. Remember that you're being guided by Divine Spirit here. Enjoy your day. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here. Your weeklies are out there now. Please go view them. And I am in the process of making the relationship and romance readings for the month of January. Let me know how you like them. Again, it's a collective reading. It doesn't pertain to every single person out there. But remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace today. So all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you tomorrow.